When you look at the deals itself, we saw 85 billion in demand for uh, you know a dozen or so billion <laughs> wanted for Bristol Myers Squibb, if you will. The spreads are looking pretty slim. Talk to us about the AbV deal, what the pricing looks like, and whether this demand is even remarkable given how much interest we've seen lately. Yeah, of course, Shanali. So right now, the deal is being pitched to investors at around 105 basis points over treasuries. That is pretty tight, and it's already tightened from what they were discussing at around 130 earlier in the day, and it could tighten further from here. It just shows how insatiable the demand is, and I do think that this is very strong. We saw 85 um, for Bristol. We're seeing 80 today. Like, that is an incredibly large amount of orders, you know, in a two-week span for $30 billion worth of debt, nearly $200 billion of orders. How well are these deals being received? We were talking about those slim spreads here. Will more mergers and acquisitions push those spreads wider? And what is the expectation for more issuance ahead? There's a really interesting dance happening right now with supply and demand. With all the supply that we've been seeing, you know, basic su supply demand dynamics would tell you that spreads should be going wider, but they're going tighter. And that's because the demand has been equally insatiable. So you have these two opposite forces going against each other. So far, the demand has been more prolific and it's pushing spreads tighter. But as we do see more M&A, which is what my sources are expecting us to see, that that's going to challenge that. It's going to challenge spreads wider.